With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's start the question. Question says that a block of mass 5 kg is pushed in case 1 and pulled in case B. Okay, pushed in case A and pulled in case B by a force 20 Newton making an angle of 30 degree with horizontal as shown in the figure the coefficient of friction between the block and the floor is mu equal to 0 0.2 the difference between the acceleration of the block in case b and case a will be okay so before coming to the solution let's understand the free body diagram of each block so if we draw for case A, okay, so the force acting on it, the downward force that is mg, the normal force upward, normal force upward, and the friction force in this side is this side let's say f1 and the acting force is in this direction okay and it is making angle 30 degree this making making 30 degree with horizontal okay and if we draw let's this is the this is the acting force okay so if we break the component for this force this direction will be f cos theta and this direction it will be f sin theta now for the block b this is the uh, ability diagram block b so if we draw the acting forces so downward mg upward normal and the acting forces in this direction making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal making an angle 30 degree with the horizontal and the friction force in this direction same as the first one okay in the both the cases the bo the block is moving in this direction okay in both the cases so if we write here and the force and break this into two components this will be f sin theta and this will be f cos theta okay and this is friction force let's uh, name it f2 okay now if you write the equation for friction force the f1 will be f1 equal to mu mg plus f sin theta here we can see that the friction force is balanced by f sin theta and mg okay multiply by the coefficient of friction in case of the case 2 if we write the equation for friction force it will be mu mg minus f sin theta okay now if we write acceleration for the first case it will be the force net divided by m okay so if we see here the force net in the first case the force this is the acting force and this is the force acting uh, acting on the horizontal direction towards right okay and the friction force in opposite direction but this force is more so it, uh, it's pulling the block towards right so the net force will be f 
cos theta minus the friction force 1 then divide by m okay also we can write for the second case acceleration a2 equal to f net divided by m so in case of case 2 we see that this is the acting force towards right and it's balancing the friction force so we can write f cos theta minus f2 divided by m now in question it has asked the difference between case 2 and case 1 so we will write a2 minus a1 so it will be f cos theta minus f2 divided by m minus f cos theta minus f1 divided by m now we are substituting the value it will be so if we take com lcm over here it will be m and this is this one will be f cos theta minus the f2 that is friction force so the friction force is mu mg minus f sin theta okay so we can write mu mg and here we here we have the sign minus and then f sin theta so we can write minus and minus plus and this will be mu f sin theta then this minus then f cos theta f cos theta and then minus this minus and this minus will be plus and for friction force we can write f1 that is mu mg plus f sin theta so we can write a mu mg plus mu f sin theta okay now here we see that f cos theta and f cos theta both are cancelled out and mu mg and mu mg both are cancelled out so we can write 2 mu f sin theta divided by m okay now in the uh, value of force is given mu is given so we can substitute the value so 2 into the value of mu is 0 0.2 and the force is 20 newton and then sine 30 degree okay and sine 30 degree divided by the mass that is 10 okay now here we can find 2 into 0 0.2 into 20 into sine 30 is how much sine 30 is 1 divided by 10 so if we solve this we will get 0 0.8 meter per second square so this is the different we are looking for so if we check the options we will see that this is the correct answer 0 0.08 meter per second square so we can write the correct answer correct answer is 0 0.8 meter per second square thank you for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today